Strippy from Glue and Glitter, and today we are going to make cauliflower mashed potatoes. Now I know there's nothing new about cauliflower mashed potatoes, but what makes this recipe special is that it is for potato lovers. We are a potato family. I think that my husband and son would eat mashed potatoes every other day if I would make them every other day. And these are the cauliflower mashed potatoes that they will actually eat. The secret to making cauliflower mashed potatoes for potato lovers is all about the ratio of cauliflower to potatoes. It's also about using a little bit of seasoning and the method that you use to actually put it all together. Let's get into it. This recipe starts like any other mashed potato recipe with potatoes. I had this covered with a plate just so that the potatoes wouldn't get too cold because it's important that they're able to melt the vegan butter. And we're actually not gonna use this fork yet. This is for later. I'll just set it aside. So you start by making mashed potatoes just like you'd make any other mashed potato. You can mash with a fork. I really like to start with a potato masher and then finish with a fork. So the potato masher will do like the bulk of the work and then the fork can come in at the end and get things a little more smooth and creamy. Let's get as much of the goods out there as we can. And just do like a rough mash. You want the heat from the potatoes to melt the butter and then you're just going to set these aside for now. It is time to make your cauliflower cream. This is what makes this recipe super special. Start by grabbing your blender. A regular blender will work just fine. I'm using this upside down blender because that's what I have. Then you're gonna add just a few ingredients to the blender. First, a whole bunch of cauliflower. Next, we'll add some seasoning, garlic powder and onion powder, and then just a little bit of vegan milk. This is oat milk, but you could use soy or almond, any kind of thick drinkable vegan milk. Something on the thinner side won't give you that creaminess that you're going for, so choose a vegan milk that you would actually like drink from a glass or use in your coffee or tea. So from here, it's time to blend. My blender is very loud, so we're gonna cut away and then we'll come back when the blending is done. Oh, hello, welcome back. So I finished round one of blending, and as you can see, my cauliflower cream is pretty, pretty thick at this point. You still have pieces of cauliflower in there, and that is not what you want. So at this point, you can add a little bit more milk and do it like a tablespoon or two at a time. And how much milk you need really is going to depend on your blender. In a high-speed blender like this one, the quarter cup that we used initially might have been plenty, but I'm going with a couple more tablespoons to see if I can get an even creamier mix. With a regular blender, you might need a little bit more milk, even up to a half a cup. So just keep adding a little bit at a time until you have a nice creamy mixture. So I'm gonna blend again and see you in a minute. Let's see how it's looking now. So as you can see, the mixture is pretty smooth and creamy, and it's time to get all of that good garlicky, oniony cauliflower cream in there. How much you mash really depends on what you like. If you like a chunkier mashed potato, you can leave bigger chunks of the potato in there. If you like things smoother, just keep on going until you get it nice and smooth and creamy. Now that you have mixed your cauliflower cream together with your potatoes, you're ready to serve it up. I like to use this as a base for bowl meals, sometimes with my barbecue baked tofu and a side of sauteed kale or broccoli. It's really good as a topping for a shepherd's pie or a chili pie. Pretty much anywhere that you use mashed potatoes, you can use these cauliflower mashed potatoes instead. I hope that this video answered all of your questions about how to make cauliflower mashed potatoes. If you have any questions that I didn't get to in this video, feel free to drop them below, I'm happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking!